And first of all, I wanted to know what were you most excited to to explore in in this season about double sum. Um, oh man, well, uh, going into it, uh, Joe Kelly and I had a conversation about all of the things that I wanted to explore with Sam, and um, and of the things that I was most ex excited to explore was you know like he takes on this new leadership role. Um, I think it's out in the teaser trailer, you know, he's got the captain's armband on in, in, in one of the games and that was super exciting. He's going to open his restaurant. That's also super exciting. But also, you know, he's on this journey to find love and to mature into adulthood and also deal with some of the consequences of, of his choices in in uh, season two. So, um, so yeah, there was there's loads of stuff that I can't wait to, to explore and share with people. Um, yeah, I hope that answers your question. And it's great that not just Ted, who is the titular character, has this evolution throughout the show. How much do you think that both Sam has evolved uh, between season one and coming into season three? And also, how much do you think that the show has grown and evolved during the... Um, this time? Massively uh, is the answer to both. I think um, Sam's definitely grown from, you know, the little boy that we, we found you know, in episode one and episode two of the first season where, you know, he's away from home, he's not playing well, he's really homesick and hasn't quite found his, like found his place in the team, found his place in the UK, um, to the version of Sam that we have now in season three where he's opening a restaurant and he's dated the owner and um, and he's also now wearing the the armband. Like he, he feels like he's at the heart of it. He's at the center of the team. And, um, and he's really found his place, found his voice, and he's on his own two feet. And as for the show, I think it's, it's the same. You know, the first season came out and the reception that it got, I feel like um, from being inside it, like I, I can tell that the creators and the writers um, have figured out what it is that they want to talk about and how they want to tell this story um, of AFC Richmond and Ted Lasso. And um, yeah, we're just going from strength to strength. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're definitely evolving. We're definitely growing and, and it's, a, it's a positive evolution. And as an actor, how is it to play a, a footballer? Because I mean, I'm a huge uh, football fan. Yeah. But even I, I can say that many football fans think that footballers don't have feelings. Like they are <laughs> people that they only go to play. They are, that's their job. But they can't see them as having emotions and, mm -hmm. and everything. How is it mm -hmm. to give them this tridimensional? Uh, focus. Yeah, no, no, no. I 100. I completely agree with you. I think that's one of the best things about being able to play a footballer because you're right. Like people only see how many goals you score and you know what your celebration is and all of that stuff, and it's what you do on the pitch. But um, I think now, especially, we're getting to a point where not just footballers, but all kinds of athletes can be fully realized three-dimensional human beings. And we're allowing them to not just be who they are on the pitch or be how well they perform on the pitch, but also just be a fully fleshed out person with an opinion, with a voice, with the ability to express themselves um, politically and emotionally. And um, yeah, I think we're at a stage now where we're starting to embrace that more. And I'm happy that Ted Lasso gets to be a part of that conversation because I think it's an important one, you know, like whether that's athletes or musicians or actors or anybody that's in a public facing job, I think it's important to realize that they're human beings as well. And they can, you know, make mistakes and they have opinions and they have um, groups that they care about, that they speak for with their platform. So, um, so yeah, I'm glad that we're, we're starting to embrace that more in, in, yeah, in the public world. And one of the mysteries, I think that the biggest one is if the show is going to end in, in season three. I'm mm. not going to ask you if it's going to end, but I wanted to know if, if you felt that this was a goodbye, that this might be a goodbye, what you did in, in this season. Um, I think there was definitely a nostalgia about season three um, because we, like everybody knows that the creators intended for it to be a three season arc. And, and I think some of that is still in the in the third season. Um, and, you know, I don't know what comes next for the show, but um, in the third season, like there definitely does feel like, um, you know, I always say like it's it feels like whether or not it's the end, it feels like the end of a chapter um, it could be. And so like there is definitely like a closing to it. Um, but that's not to say that it's, it's an ending. Um, I think there's just a resolution of sorts. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, 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 totally. Thank you so much. And if the show ends, I I would watch hundred percent uh, as I'm a spin off. So I hope wow. everything goes well for him. In, in that's really, that's really kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, have, have a, a nice really day. nice day. See Bye -bye. you.